Hello everyone and peace of the Lord, the Messiah, the Word of God, God on earth who came to us. The visible image of the invisible God. Today we are going to talk about uh, the nature of the God of Islam. You see, the Muslims, they say to us how God can be a man. God, we call him almighty for he is almighty. And God who cannot be, then he cannot be God too. In the front of us, we see Muslims' videos. Muslims, clerics, scholars, supposedly, speaking about Allah has in ha having hands, heels, fingers, shin, foot, etc. Yet Allah, He does not have a spirit. Many of you uh, heard of something called zombie. What is zombie? What is exactly this uh, idea of, uh, of uh, zombie? Uh, somebody is dead, supposedly, and he is walking. I'm not going to show you some ugly images, which, you know, from this uh, stupid... Uh, but just to make you understand what we are talking about. If Allah is a body, but yet he have no spirit, he is a zombie. Allah have, or he has supposedly, according to Muslims, a physical shape. He have a foot, he has a shin, he has a hands, he have five fingers, he have two hands in the right side, but yet he has no spirit. Well, those are dead, which means they have no spirit. The, the difference between a dead person and a living person is the spirit. A dead person, your life or you, is a person who have uh, no spirit. As simple as that. So when you say to me that your spirit is gone or your God, he has no spirit at all. Yet he is alive. Then, then we need to ask you, is he a zombie? Maybe he is an idol. Muslims, they have no answer and they do not know what to say really. <clears throat> In the chat, we have already some Muslims, and they are welcome if they are willing to answer. Uh, we see always Muslims, they are making fun of Christianity. But we don't know really why, except that they are Muslims and they have a duty to insult Christianity. Muslims, they don't refuse Christianity because it does not make sense to them. But just because Muhammad he said so, and if Muhammad he said so, that's it. Who dare to question what Muhammad he say? Muhammad he say so. Then we obey what Muhammad said. Muhammad is their God, and he is the one in control of what to believe. And even the Quran says, whatever the Prophet says, you obey him. And actually, yesterday we have a Muslim who left Islam after seeing the madness of this cult. If Jesus is the visible image of God, why he did not mention it clearly, why the Trinity is just something that mysteriously was uh, deduct strange? That is because of your ignorance. And if you are a person who come here every day, how many times we show that Jesus says clearly that he is God? Tons of time. You see, the ignorance of Muslims, the ignorance of Muslims is amazing. They do not know their book. They do not even know what Allah means. And then 
they don't question they don't dare even to question their cult but they question us and they make a funny logic without reading did you read the Bible you don't even know anything about Christianity like your God Jesus said clearly that he is the living God this is John chapter 8 And by the way, this is just an example. And Yeshua spoke again to them and said, I am the living God, the light of the world. Whoever follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall find the light of life. The Pharisees were saying to him, you are testifying about yourself. Your testimony is not a true. Yeshua answered and said, to them even if I testify about myself my testimony is a true because I know where I am from where I have come and where I am going but you do not know from where I have come and where I am going you are judging currently I am judging no one but even if I do judge my judgment is a true because I am not alone, but I and my Father who sent me. And in your written law, it's written, the testimony of two men is true. I am the living God. I am the living God. I who testify about myself and my Father who sent me has testified me. You were saying to him, where is your father so this idiot he was saying to us where jesus says i am god jesus said the one who saw me he saw the father i am the living god and yet they will ask you show me where in the bible it says that jesus he said he is god secondly we don't believe in jesus just because he said i am the living god because anyone can say i am the living god you can say that too so it's very silly argument and very stupid Showing the ignorance and the stupidity and the mentality of refusing and rejecting without even reading one verse in the Bible. Same time, your God who have a foot, who have a leg, who have a shin, as you see, and your Muslim confirmed that. How he is God and accepted for having a form, which is a form, mostly a form of a man. But Jesus because he is a man is rejected for the same reason you accepted your God to be God is the same reason you refuse Jesus to be God here you will see the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan the hypocrisy and before I forget there is a there is a Muslim <clears throat> he posted a comment about my uh, one of my videos where is the girl her name Zuzu where is Zuzu the Muslim Zuzu is she here because I saw a text of her uh, 15 minutes ago her name is Zuhra you remember the, the, the Zuzu <clears throat> she said that the Bible obviously is not from God because the Bible says that God created the earth before the heaven sorry no he said the the the, the, um, the Sun created four days after creating uh, the earth <clears throat> uh, and we made a video and we got them busted with their with their madness and stupidity you see the Muslims they argue but they have no knowledge of their stupid book yet they claim knowledge of our book uh, there is somebody he made the same statement and I'm going to read it for you let me find it first uh, one of you he copied a statement for me and he sent it I don't know if you have the uh, page in Facebook in the, in the YouTube we can read it there <clears throat> this guy he said and I hope you can read with me let's see if we can zoom in for you guys all right the Muhammadan said nowhere does Allah says in the verse that he made the earth first and then he made the heaven he merely says that he made all that is on earth and then he turned into the heaven 
that was already created if Allah had really created heaven after he created the earth then why would he say then he stole he rose toward the heaven after the creation of the earth how he can can he stoa which means raise over according to him toward the heaven when hasn't is created yet in first place <laughs> you see I, I i understand that he is noticing here something stupid about his book and this is a good good thing you just shot your god in the head you are saying now if it's really Allah he created the earth first that's mean the Quran is saying a stupid thing because how he created the earth and the heaven is not created yet and then he move toward the heaven you got a point so all what we need to do now is a proving that Allah yes he created the earth first and then he created the heaven and then here you are adding additional mistake in the Quran contradiction stupidity and I agree with you if we go to Ibn Kathir, may Allah uh, 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 grant him 70 versions. This is your Ibn Kathir, not me. <clears throat> and you Muslim, you challenge me. Why you don't show Ibn Kathir? Why you don't show Ibn Kathir? Okay, we are showing Ibn Kathir. Do uh, you verily uh, disbelieve in him who created the earth in two days and he set up? Okay, read it. All right. He said mountains, etc., etc., etc. So now the answer we're gonna find if Allah really created the earth first and then the heaven, and then then you get a point that Allah must be stupid, or whoever wrote the Quran, according to you, must be stupid. This ayat indicate that Allah started the creation by creating earth. <laughs> Guys, do you remember what he said? He said, if Allah really created the earth first, then how he say he moved over to heaven, that would be stupid. Correct? I agree with you. But the Quran is the book of stupidity. So you try to save your God from being stupid using what is written in the Quran to save his bum, but you did spank him without knowing. Because you just said, uh, then how he say that? That is a contradiction. How he can move to the heaven if there's no heaven? You are right. But as you see, this is how your prophet he understand and this is how your scholars understand these ayat indicate that Allah a creation started the creation by creating the earth he made the heaven into and then then he made the heaven into seven heaven this is how building usually start from the lower floor first and then to the top of floor <laughs> So this Muhammadan, <clears throat> this Muhammadan, he wanted to refute us supposedly, but look what he did to himself. He just helped us to expose the false fiction of the silly Quran. Uh, but anyway, it, my topic today is not about dress really. I mean the Quran is full of stupid mistakes I mean the whole Quran from first page to last page is stupid From the first page in the Quran to the last page in the Quran is pure stupidity All right uh, Somebody saying the following he is an ex-muslim Let us share his comment In the screen uh, Ibn Kilab, Christian Prince. I am an apostate. I want to say to you you have not so many followers as YouTube stars But you create people like me in the name of Jesus. Thank you for everything like as one student of you my friend first of all maybe you might be mistaken about how many people follow my videos i have millions of people watching my videos the thing is because youtube like me very much they keep deleting my accounts deleting my videos uh, 
so my videos are scattered everywhere so if you want to calculate how many followers I, I mean I don't want to say the word followers I don't like it actually how many people follow the videos because I don't have followers I don't want people to follow me I'm no one uh, how many people they subscribe to my videos you will find that the number is so huge because then you have to calculate everybody posting my videos subscription uh, and this is not really important uh, for me the important is spreading the message and teaching the people how to refute this stupid cult all right and this is what is important uh, if there is any Mohammedan would like to call me let me open my Skype to be sure that uh, that is possible for the Mohammedan to call only Mohammedan please or who, those who worship Muhammad and obey Muhammad they can call me <coughs> I'm logging to Skype just to be sure that they can call All right, let us see. My Skype is open. If there is any Muslim would like to call, feel free, please. Okay, I'm having offer. Uh, my friend, the one who wanna call me from Nigeria, as we see, we need we need Muslims to call us. I really, I love to talking to you to you Christian people, but this is not my you know my purpose here. I want people to hear the other side of the story. You know, I'm trying just to be fair and not only to hear someone he is uh, 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 getting Islam busted. We want you to hear a Muslim trying to prove us wrong. All right? Uh, because like, you know, uh, uh, Christians, uh, we, we, don't, we don't want to do what the Muslims do. You know, like the, the Dean show, there's a show, it's called the Dean show. The guy he have a cell phone in his hand and the cell phone never even ring. He opened the phone. He says, "Hello, yes, uh huh, brother, uh huh, mm hmm, uh uh huh, uh 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 okay, uh huh uh huh uh huh." Now, supposedly somebody is calling, but I assure you, nobody is calling. Have you ever heard of TV station? You cannot hear the caller. Never. Why? Because nobody is calling they fabricate questions and answers they have questions and answers ready in the program and they cannot answer anything except what is written there and the answers and the question both of them written by them for they are a fake people we don't want to be the same as Mohammedan any Muslim is willing to call me my Skype is open give me your ID I will call you all right as simple as that Talk is cheap. Here we don't talk only, we show the proofs. Right? <clears throat> uh, and guys, be nice with your comment about the Muslims, please, if you don't mind. Because we are not here to call names. We are here to, uh, you know, uh, make, a, make a statement which is, can be proven. And we show reference. It's an education. A channel not a name calling we don't want to do what the Muslims do I can say the word is stupid if somebody is stupid you know this is stupid uh, like you know what we see in the front of us the Muslims always try to make comments to refute us but in fact when they do that always they do something stupid against their God you know the problem is not only the Muslim do not know their religion they help us to expose their religion and I will give you an example. I will keep reading what this guy comment is. Read with me. This verse, this verse Allah says, Allah created the earth. No, 
this verse talk only about things on earth and not earth itself I mean what this guy he was eating before he make the answer what what is the food you ate let us go to the Quran he is he it is who created for you all that on earth then he rose toward the heaven and we showed you the interpretation for that when you say he rose toward the heaven and you say to us that well if there is no heaven how he rose toward the heaven that is a question you ask it to your city God however everything in the earth was created and yet there was nothing in the heaven how we can prove that we can go to different verse in the Quran <coughs> and we will find this in chapter 41 verse number 11 it says Allah here I give you all the details Allah created the earth in two days as you see then he placed on the earth all things including mountains uh, water grass trees whatever and here by the way you notice that Allah he claimed that he placed the mountains above it which is very stupid because mountains are not some, some something placed it is something coming from the ground and then after he finished everything in the earth in four days in the top of the first two days he creation the earth the guy in his comment he says where it says that he created the earth into to, you know the first it says here in front of you and then after that four days to finish everything in the top and then after that then he went to the heaven and it was a smoke which means there was nothing so when you say to me what you just said you are just showing us that how limited those Muslims are Muslims are uh, generally speaking they are copy paste people they do not know anything and if they try to refute you they copy paste they do not know really what they are saying they are just followers copy the same as they copy uh, uh, Allah as an example Allah he will not refute the Christians how Allah he refute the Christians about Jesus being God I will give you an example <clears throat> Jesus in chapter 5 verse number 75 how he can be and his mother God's what we don't believe in his mother as God how he can be and he and his mother they used to eat food so the logic of Allah if Jesus eat food he cannot be God because he eat food well angels don't eat food do they Muslims according to your God angels don't eat food I'm just using the logic of your city God if the one who eat food he can he cannot be God which mean if you don't eat food you are God okay angels don't eat food here we go we made you today Jehovah's Witnesses how stupid that is So always I see that the one who speak in the Quran, he have a very limited, short, uh, uh, comprehensive ability, and he is stupid. Angels do. There is a hadith for Muhammad where he says, eat food with Jibreel. Okay, guys, just to show you the stupidity again, just to show you the stupidity again. I mean, I, I, I always tell you that Muslims always, they help a Christian prince in his mission. Read carefully with me. Fadi Harun said, Angels do, which means do eat. There is a hadith 
for Muhammad where he says that he ate food uh, uh, with Jibreel okay thank you very much but this is because Jibreel he come in earth in the form of a man but angels do not need food so you are talking now and this is confirming to us the stupidity of this book if you eat food that's mean you are just a human so the angel now when he ate food he turned into an angel he's still an angel or he's a human now the Quran describe if you ask the Muslims the Quran says we send our spirit we ask them who is the spirit who is the spirit they say to you uh, ask them who is the Holy Spirit actually they say to you Jibreel there's nowhere by the way in the Quran it says that the Holy Spirit is Jibreel nowhere but this is the Muslims believe so we will go with their belief okay so the Holy Spirit, which is Jibreel, supposedly according to the Muslims, and as you see here in English, it says Ruhul Qudus. Ruhul Qudus mean what? Between two brackets, Jibreel. Okay. How he is a spirit, and yet you said he eat food. How he is a Holy Spirit, and yet he eat food. Are you there? How even you call him a spirit? And not only you call him a spirit, you call him Holy Spirit. So he is holy and he is a spirit, yet he is eating falafel with the Prophet of Allah. And here we notice that the Quran is a mix of many belief Muhammad he heard the Christian speaking about the Holy Spirit he liked the idea okay the Holy Spirit and the funny that Jibreel he come to Muhammad in the image of a man who is a boyfriend of Muhammad his name is Dahil Kalbi let us show you the reference I mean, isn't it amazing that we find now that Jibreel, he is a spirit and he have now a shape of a man and he eats sandwiches and now he is in the shape of the Hil Kalbi. Why? to see him trying to find the hadith all right we do me carefully Muhammad he have a boyfriend who stay very late in his house and actually there is one of the statement of Ibn Abbas Ibn Abbas at that time he was a kid the cousin of the Prophet he entered upon a, a, a Muhammad and in the interpretation it says that he found him in a spiritual position spiritual position what does that mean we do not know and then Ibn Abbas he said to him is it this is uh, Dahir the Prophet he says no 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 this is not Dahir this is Jibreel, but he is in the image of the Hil Kalbi. Why Jibreel is coming in the image of the Hil Kalbi? Did I lose images, guys? Did we lose contact connection? I hope not. Any Muslim can tell us? <laughs> 